not the most important, not the most fam famous, but the highly working and very, very efficient GRE preparation platforms or resources. That's what we are going to talk about today. I have spent around 10 to 12 days of my efforts to look out for the best resources throughout the entire world. It's not just about India, even if you're a student of India and if there is a new trend and data that has proven that the online coaching classes are equally efficient when it comes to coaching classes and they are uh, i would say they are even more convenient than an offline coaching center so today we are going to talk about this highly working and very really good platforms okay i have ranked them pretty nicely based on their way of looking to the actual gre examination and how they prepare and what the material they provide to the students and all the things so i have come to the conclusion with one of the platforms that i thought is a really good platform from it's based in the usa but uh, they have this online um, you know dashboard and all the things and this is some sort of memory tracking or memory training kind of a new thing that i discovered and really like the uh, you know platform and the, the way they train the students and they have according to their website and the database and i tried to look out for the reviews it's really good it's really genuine and they have i guess they have around 70 to 18 percent of growth in their successful candidates just using this memory training technique so i am going to appear for gre this year so i have opted for this course and it's really good i felt really good about it i'm going to show you the dashboard and all the things so stay tuned we are going to discuss really good platforms today and if you're a gre student don't miss out to this video i would recommend you please watch it it is going to you know open your eyes maybe if you have for, opted for another platform or maybe it will give you uh, some insights about few platforms that you must be using uh, already let's get started didn't i always already told you that we are going to talk about the highly effective gre preparation resources it is not based on the number of people that are talking about some resource or what the Quora review says about it no it is not going to happen in that way i have personally spoken to the toppers of gre to people who actually cracked it i have spoken to them and i have asked them what actually worked for them what is the secret of their success so this is something that i have you know ranked few resources based on these parameters the first one is it is really important for us to judge how good the exam difficulty is represented in a particular resource in their test and the way they teach it should represent the exam difficulty as it is i mean the closer it represents the difficulty it's better for a candidate to perform really well in the actual examination so next one is quality of test and teaching methods so this is something that uh, specifically is related to english and quantitative aptitude which is uh, it is important to change the teaching methodologies based on the examination so gre for if you are teaching for gre it is the quantitative aptitude approach is different as of gmat or i would say as of cat as well so this is something that which matters when it comes to test as well as the teaching methodologies next one is importance given to the each section this is really important because you know when the tests are formed it is not required that they are going to put same level of same amount of weightage to each and every section it is not necessary maybe the gre in gre as we all know that english has given more importance than quantitative aptitude but in the cat examination quantity aptitude is given more importance than the english section so it is important how a resource or how a platform gives importance to each of these sections so the next one is we are going to count down from five to the first one. So this is the first one, which is Kaplan. Okay, this is a really famous book. This is, this is a really famous platform. Many people are talking about it, but but the difficulty level is underrepresented. Uh, if you uh, totally rely on this resource, and if you consider that the GRE examination, actual examination, is going to be the same way, no, you are not going to score really well because you have tested yourself at a low difficulty level. So that's why you are going to, you know, maybe I, I don't want to call it a failure. But maybe yeah, you'll score less marks than you used to get in your uh, test in at this platform, particular platform. So the next one is they, about the teaching methodologies and the and the, the way the tests are. As I mentioned here, the the tests are taken at the face value. The face value that is teaches a mathematical for the quantitative section. It means it's a quantitative section. You don't need to teach the the math basic basic maths or something of that sort. Okay, you have to teach students about how to crack a particular examination because the approach matters it's not about the mathematical it's not about the getting your basics fixed no it is the, the approach that a teacher is teaching and how the tests are conducted on the that basis so i don't think that this particular platform gives really good uh, you know impression in that section the next one is they consider all those concepts are equally likely to occur, uh, occur okay so they ignore the base rates so they think that everything is important and we have to give importance to every single syllabus point 
So next one is they are really very confident about their own resources. So they give a full money back guarantee. And if you want a huge question back, it's a really good platform. They have a huge online question back. You can go there for practice. Apart from their test, they have question backs and you can practice over there as much as you can. So the next one is Princeton Review. Okay, this is another also famous book, but they are also underrepresenting the difficulty of the actual GRE test. Okay, studying you may feel that GRE is uh, you know easy to test, but in the actual test you are going to score less if you stick to these uh, this platform, these two platforms. Okay, so the same thing goes for here. They teach us at you know, test and all the things are at face value. So the, they they just directly teach mathematical for mathematics for quantitative section and easy writing skills for writing sections. So this is not the, the really good way to approach these two sections. Also treats all the concepts as equally likely to occur. That is ignore the, again, they ignore the base rates and all the things. Best for beginners. I would say definitely this is best for beginners. If you are just starting, if you're just first year, just go for it. Just get familiarized with the GRE concepts and all how, how, how it works. But if you want to, you know, get a good college, if you want to score really good marks, then you shouldn't rely on this particular one uh, platform also they have on-site online and on-demand courses but the one thing that is missing is quiz bank okay they have a test really good test and number of uh, tests are enough to practice you but they don't have a quiz bank so they should improve it so that you know a student will be able to practice apart from the, uh, the actual test and next one is Manhattan obviously another famous book uh, I would say uh, effective book so it, it represents it's actually you know the tests are uh, difficult I would say the tests are difficult and the information is too much. They have six to eight textbooks. So it's kind of a difficult to solve their questions. Even at, at sometimes in quantitative section, uh, you'll feel that the, it has a lot of calculative approach to solve a particular question, which is not the real case in GRE. In GRE, you have you can you know solve the question very easily if you know the basic methods and if you know the how to approach a question. So yeah, so they again take the test as face value. They teach us math, a lot of mathematical equations and all the things they teach that way. And that's how their uh, exams are. Also treats all the concepts as equally likely to occur because uh, that's why they have given all this information into huge textbooks. Uh, so they, they think that every concept is important and equally likely to occur in, in the examination. Looking at the volume of the textbooks, I would say the total overall cost will go uh, really high. So it is an expensive platform to uh, go for, but good if you want to gain knowledge apart from examination okay they have a good resource to learn from you can you can go through it you can study all the things uh it will be useful for your gr examination as well but apart from that you'll learn a lot uh in your day-to-day -day life and the next one is ets obviously ets has to be in this list because they only really conduct the gre examination so valid and generalized you know the difficulty level uh, because they are the only people those who are going to conduct it material is created by the publisher itself so they also take the test at the face value they mostly teaches the uh, you know mathematical itself because they are not going to tell you the approach because that would be you know kind of an insider information so they try to generalize it and they teach mathematical for quantitative section and easy writing skills for the writing section um, they also treat all the uh, concepts equally likely to occur because obviously they are the official people so they will never reveal what is uh, important what what has the more weightage and what does not so they always try to keep it equally likely to occur so you can rely on this study material because many people take it as a standard for that particular year also good to score average marks because uh, you know it, it, it they will not stretch your abilities to you know to you so that you can top this to you can get really good marks uh, out of your gre official gre preparation but you can definitely if you go for this uh, platform so you'll definitely score average marks for sure fun platform number one resource for the GRE preparation. It has outranked all the traditional resources as of now. I'll tell you why, okay? I have, trust me, I have spoken to people who has used this platform. I have got honest reviews and it actually worked for many of them and it worked really well, okay? So that's why, as you can see here, I have bought the platform because I also liked it and it's been a while that I'm using it. And trust me, I really feel like I should go out and make this video and let others as know about this new way of training yourself and especially this platform gives you a really good freedom of you know studying anywhere and everywhere you want that i'm going to cover uh, soon so first of all why why do i think that it's a good platform first one is accurately represents the difficulty of the test okay it does not undervalue or undermine or overmine the the difficulty level of the gre they every year they change their content based on how the trends are going on and what is going to happen and they predict their predictions are based on the expert advices. It's not a speculation. They do it really nicely. 
so material is written to teach you how to beat the test okay so it is not about teaching you the mathematical skills or uh, uh, english language to you for those sections it is about how gre is going to conduct the question how gr question paper how gr is going to form the questions and how a student should approach it and make sure that you don't miss out on and you get the best answers and the perfect answers so that's that was the main motto behind preparing the entire syllabus for achievable me it actually also the good thing about it is it accurately weighs all the sections properly every year we cannot take it granted that every concept every chapter every section will have a equal weightage so the next one is i would say there are no hard copies but that's the main key you don't have to carry your all the heavy books now you can just use your mobile phone as i told you already that this platform is highly responsive and very well built for mobile users as well if you go there you will not face even a 5% of difficulty to study on your mobile phone i would say in my case i study it most of the times i study it through my mobile phone because i cannot take my computer all the time on my laptop or i cannot keep it on so it's better that whenever i want if i I'm, i'm in a mood to study i'll just i just start my mobile phone and i just start studying they have a really really high success rate people have used it they use a memory training and tracking technique which i'm going to show you which has resulted in really good high success rate people get number of marks what they always wanted to they keep a target and that's how they achieve it so that's that that shows the high successful rate okay now we have the dashboard of achievable me also we are going to look for the textbooks that they have all these textbooks how the look is what the content how the content is and everything also we are going to go through few catalog how the user account is what are the subscription fees and also we are going to talk about this memory progress thing which is new here and also, also you can get a free sign up which is there in the on the website just go there look around the dashboard it's totally free to sign up use my link in the description below also you'll get 20% of 20% discount if you make any purchases so do it right away so uh, i'm going to take few test in front of you i'm going to go through few questions and i'm going to solve them and we are going to see how this change things changes you know this particular schedule which is now 24 hours 48 hours 72 hours and 96 hours so this is really important which automatically gets filled according to the your memory strength you see if i put a any uh, on the blocks or uh, you'll see that there is a strength of which shows the memory progress and all the things and this is the progression bar so here this screen is a mobile view of the same website and this is a desktop view so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go through the chapters so the, I'll, i'll just click on the fourth chapter which is on basics and equilateral triangles you see how properly they have written it as a, just as a textbook the readability is really good all the formulas are there very nicely explained and you see here is the main thing that's the key points every chapter everywhere you'll see key chapters and the notes of it key points and notes about it so let's see the same chapter fourth chapter i'll go to fourth chapter which is triangle okay right angles on both the mobile version and on my desktop version so now we are going to go for a review ready this is something the flash cards so this is one feature that i wanted to talk about okay so what it says repeat randomizable questions to fill session so this particular platform has a really unique property which is you can practice as much as you can i'm literally i'm telling you that it has infinite question bank for any particular formula or any particular chapter in mathematics algebra or anything it automatically randomly selects the number and it gives you questions again and again and again you can infinitely try it out the same question you can try out with different numbers okay so i'm going to start let's say i'm i'm just choosing any answer right now confirm let's see it it shows on that page itself it will show me that if i'm right or if i'm wrong okay i'll just click on explanation it will show you the explanation based on the question and another function is now if you want to go to the textbook where you have you must have read this question or there is a reference so there is this button which shows as textbook okay i'll go to textbook right so it has op- opened the textbook where the question is taken from okay the the chapters that are required to be immediately repeated or practiced they are shown in the upcoming 24 hour now section okay same thing what i did on website on my 
mobile phone application okay how it looks like which is very important because most of the students for GRE or I would say in India especially we don't have all the time access to the laptops or computers or anything we just need our mobile phone and currently the usage of mobile phone has really increased which is which on this platform is coping up with that particular change and the trends okay